Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. King Win Pro League 2015. We are on to the last match of this day, uh, first day of week eight. We will have the second day of the eighth week happening tomorrow. Usually we cast the matches on Thursday, but this time we'll be moving it earlier to Wednesday. So just want to make sure that's clarified. If you're looking for the second day of the, the week, it's going to be tomorrow as opposed to Thursday. So don't miss out on that and don't expect us on Thursday if you do show up. So we're going to be moving on to Tr Dog versus Trump as the last match of the day. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, and don't forget that we're still looking for casters, right? Right, right. Yeah, if you want to start to get into Hearthstone casting, Kingwin is, in fact, still looking for casters to replace me. Um, we will... Um, you know, you just send your VOD to esports at kingwin.net and they'll give you a review and possibly ca you know, call you up so you can maybe get a cast off in their studios. That's a great opportunity to get into casting for Hearthstone because there's, you know, it, it, there's the open qualifier for Kingwin Season Pro League, uh, Kingwin Pro League Season 2. And now there's the cast off. This is a huge, you know, community oriented thing, it seems. We're getting a lot of fresh blood, both in the casting scene and as well on the um, the player scene. So that's going to be nice. Season 2 should be very exciting. And I, I truly hope uh, the metagame will have shifted even more than it already has at this point. Like, just looking at in two months down the line, the decks will finally, the metagame will at least stabilize somewhat. Maybe even the format will change. Who knows? Are you, are you telling me that maybe we... We might not have conquest anymore. I'm not sure. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe something better will pop out, you know? Yeah. I, I'd be curious to see, though. That'd be nice, like, tweaks on specific formats. Because we have conquest prepared for BlitzCon, hence everybody's kind of picked up on it. But we'll have to see if that ends up being a thing down the line um, in two months' time. So, Trump versus Dog. Trump has Druid, Rogue, and Warrior. And Dog has Druid, Rogue, and Priest. So, in effect, I think this is just going to be a massive lineup coin flip, right? It feels like <laughs> they're both matched up, like Druid versus Druid, Rogue versus Rogue, and the Priest versus Warrior. This could go either way, depending on how the players, the Thought Steals go. Let's right. just hope it won't be uh, such a blowout like the last games. Yeah, like RDU, one player is uh, just really yeah. unlucky, and the second dude is just drawing godlike. Yeah, that was, uh, that was much faster than I anticipated. The RDU matches were... The, the games were really unfortunate. Um, we didn't get to see much of the action because there was no action to, to make. Like it was How just... can you say that? Turn 2, hero power. Turn 3, hero power. Turn 4, hero power. Ready for action. <laughs> yeah, that was just Can't crazy. Can't do this for fight. Oh my god. Don't... What? Alamo? That's the guy, right? Yeah, that's Alamo. Oh my yeah. god, Alamo the Druid. Uh, memories. So the first match is going to be, sorry, Trump's Druid versus Priest from Dog, which should be kind of interesting since a lot of people say, oh, Priest is good against Druid, and uh, Alothar and I disagreed early in KPL, but it seems to be the case that um, they're doing amazingly well right now. Like, yeah, Priests true. are doing very well against Druids for some reason. We saw a match earlier, I think, where Wild Pyromancer with the Northshire Cleric drew a huge amount of cards for the Priest, and that led to him being able to get even more counter pressure than the Druid could handle. Yeah, well, Druid can't handle creatures with more than 5 HP. It's like, sacrifice at least a creature and hero power. And that's just a huge blowout to his tempo. So, when he, when Priest has just a bigger board control, it's really hard, hard to come back as a Druid from that point. Yeah, why don't Druids play Tall Strider? Such an amazing card. Tall Strider? Yeah, it's such a sick... You could play with Druid the Fang on curve to get a 7-7 seven, seven and a 5-4. What about Druid of the Flame? It's a beast. Yeah, you could play all of those together in River Croc. Wow! River Croc, the best card confirmed. Crazy plays, I know. And you could even, you know, if they play a Houndmaster, you could faceless it, then Brewmaster it, then buff up a beast. You know what? You can what? also play the beast. Because you have so many targets for Big Game Hunter, it doesn't really matter. Right, that, that's a very good... Yeah. That's, actually a, that's actually a good point, Lothar. <laughs> That no. is actually, one day, I, I promise you, years down the line, like three years down the line, Druid Beast will be a thing, and everybody will be mad. Everyone will be playing you. two Big Game Hunters and two Shadow World Deaths. Yeah, and be, the, the interesting part is, like, the people who play two BGHs and two Shadow World Deaths, they will be aggro priests with Shadow Bombers and Mind Blast. Oh, hmm. interesting. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be all, like, a completely different metagame. I, I see the future. 
All you right, to, so you I don't know what uh, resort. I've told them. I'm actually uh, I'm working behind the scenes to make Agro Priest a thing. You think Shadow Bomber was an accident? <laughs> <laughs> it was not. All right, we're moving out of the game now. Finally, Druid versus Priest. Uh, we'll see what Dog's starting hand is. That tends to be the decisive factor in those matches. Valence Chosen can be really strong if you get it on a, on a smaller minion. From what I can tell for now, is the fact that both players' hands suck. What I can tell you is that Harrison Jones is in Dog's Priest deck, and Rogue and Warrior are in Trump's lineup, so that's going to be a great tech card. And Trump has pretty awkward hand, but not the absolute worst with that Shredder. It's just that you'd need to find... You know, if you, you would keep the Shredder if you had it. I would bait. keep the Shredder, you know? I kind of want to, yeah. Because it's going to be a slow game no matter what. But it's really bad against that Cultist. That's the problem. Well, he keeps the Shredder, which I think is a pretty good call in general. It's got to feel awful, though, if you don't find your inner vase. He oh, picks up a wild wow. growth. All right. Now All we're talking. All droid cards from RDU's decks just moved to Trump's hand. <laughs> oh, God. Let it not be true. Is there, like, a random number transfer, like, that gets done? Like, you, your know. RNG is bad and it balances out with the next guy who plays the game? <laughs> that would be awful. It's like in the casino when you just, you know, wait for someone at the slot machines to... Not you just watch the dude like not winning for like three hours, then he and just then you, quits you and then one, just yeah. yeah go to his place and just play. Yeah, you go all in because the, the machine's gonna have like yeah. a seventy percent return rate, uh, enough to keep you hooked. Wow, Trump is thinking hard about that wild growth. What is he thinking about, really? Tell me that. Um, is maybe he he's all tapped. I don't know. Is he bluffing in face, really? I, I think that might be it. Or maybe not. Maybe he's just trying to abuse Dog's patience, which is probably a viable tactic. Dog being a very impatient player, he's gotten a lot better, but um, still a very, very impatient person. So I'm just curious to see, though, if we're going to see a Death Lord or just an Orchard Cleric Power Shield. Death Lord is very problematic for the droid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when it can get healed up on turn 3 with Northshire, I get think that's gonna be... There's a power shield, man. Yeah, but like, if you want to draw cards, right? Like, yeah, well, everything, everything is good for Dog, in effect, here with that Death Lord. Trump is not about to keep it a grow of that thing. He might shred it, though. Well... Do you develop... I think you... I think you just go for heal. heal. I don't know. I know because you don't want to leave the Death Lord on at eight health. Yeah, I don't nah. think you do. I because then the, you know Druid of the Claw would charge would be a problem. Now if he, if he does that, you at least need to force a loss on the Shredder. Oh, Savage Roar. Actually, wait. That is great. He can kill everything and get a minion from the pilot Shredder and also get one from the Death Lord. Wow. That might be the play. And he will get a big game hunter from that. <laughs> oh, oh, please don't. Oh, no, nope uh, for that. That's convenient. I'm. I. I would have probably savage Lord. Maybe I'm a. I'm a weakling. Oh, that's a. Five. Oh, that's a five-five. Actually, yeah. There's a shadow word death. I don't think that's exactly what you want to get. Dog has a piloted shredder. How often do you like playing? This part of Shredder doesn't make sense, I don't think. And not with the possibility of a. Mm -mm. You have to use the Shadow of Death. Yeah. So this is a variant on the typical priest list that you see floating around. Second Wild Grove. It doesn't matter at all, right? Just go Sylvanas, kill the Priestess. You know, I just realized why Malfurion's beard is so long, with all those wild growths. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Lothar? You don't have to laugh. You actually don't have to laugh. That's the cool part. Yeah, I won't didn't. get offended. I, I, I actually <laughs> laugh at myself, and that's enough. I'm, a, I'm good enough for public for myself. 
So here's one question. When you Nova here, does the uh, Shadow Boxer go off before it dies? I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, since everything quote-unquote is simultaneous. It, it should, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's an interesting question. We'll, How good we will is... Have to see in a few seconds. I actually like the Belcher here. Maybe. Oh, but it telegraphs the Nova so hard. You can't really play Belcher without getting punished. And? Yeah, it did. Wow. All right, so Nova only healed for one. And Trump has found two swipes. Now Dog wants to find a Light Bomb. That would be the best top deck, right? Because Nova I'm wouldn't take so care of this. So. Yeah. Is every priest player playing Light Bomb? Wrath would be good though, when Thought Steel. He hasn't seen a single one, so he could find one of those. Force of Nature and Key for the Grove? Yeah, that's <laughs> bad. Was it with you that I saw a Force of Nature Savage War kill from a priest? Yeah, yeah. That was beautiful. Beautiful. So now you wrap for one that does make any sense. I have the play. You attack phase and you wrath your own Sylvanas to take the cultist. Mm. No, that is miserable, Lothar. Good. It's a, t it's a terrible play. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't ever do that. If you value your win rate. Actually, what about Savage War here with power, Wrath for one for card draw? And you kill a cultist with that, with your heal power? And then you go face for quite a big chunk of damage with your yeah, That's not as bad. Oh, how yeah. much? Wait, how much damage is that? Because you can basically kill him next turn, right? With the swipes. With the two swipes, yeah. I think that would have been enough. Or close to, at the very least. Um, but he's not gonna opt for that play. Can't fault him, honestly. Is Except for his best guy. 5, 9, 6, 15. Well, it's leave on anyway next turn. Yeah. Well, he needs to. He needs to clear. Or he needs to play Belcher. Um, Belcher, Northshire Cleric, Powered Shield, I guess. That's. I mean, he needs to find a light bomb really fast, I think. That's a lightning fast light bomb. Good thing for Dog, though, the slime is not gonna get <laughs> stolen. Yeah. Okay, he's killing himself. Yeah, because playing Orshard would have fed a minion to the Sylvanas, you don't want to do that. No, no, I, I would rather miss. see the poor children, I think. What if Keeper of the Grove hits? They're dead anyway. So if you use he um, Savage Roar, you can go 7, you can put him at 7 HP. You can use... Hey, what if you actually just kill your own Sylvanas with Wrath after drawing with Ancient of Lore? That might be not bad. Yeah, oh, especially when you found the force of nature. I don't even dislike that too much. But he's just gonna opt to go for the uh, kill the Belcher and kill the Do slime. You like it? I, I think I, like I would have preferred to kill to take the Belcher, but I think ultimately it's gonna be fine because the the weakness in killing your own self to take the Belcher is Shadow Madness. That's the oh, biggest yeah, that's weakness true. of it. Yeah, so yeah. you don't really want to like it's a play I call, but it's not necessarily. Um, yeah, the Shadow Madness true. would be very crucial. And that should be game, I think, to be honest. You're one mana short of combo. And one Savage Roar short. <laughs> Such well played. Much wow. Yeah, you can Trump has got this pretty much. You can cast Power Shield on your tree end. Actually, wouldn't a powered shield like so? He don't, he probably doesn't play light bomb, right? Otherwise, he might have considered power shielding something. Like, uh, probably not. Even then, yeah, he's dead to combo. We know that much. There's 21 damage with combo. Yeah. So if he plays light bomb, then he would play the zombie chop first. First, and then powered shield to hope to find light bomb, and otherwise then force of nature. No, no, why would you play zombie chop first? No, that doesn't yeah, you would have fed it to Sylvanas. Yeah, yeah. Just 
power shield the shade and then life bomb. No, he doesn't play it, but I think ultimately you can't really play her as though your opponent's gonna get, you know, he's got combo. Um, but then again, it's the big weakness of, the big power, I guess, of Druid is you can't even play around what they've got. Like their combo, you know it's there, but you can't help it. You can yep. do your best, but you just can't do anything against it. Even um, if you have counter spell, you can just be, you know, wrecked. You, you can be wrecked by Innervate before yeah. combo. They go innervate, eat the eat up the counter spell, and they combo everything, and you're, yeah. you're in a bad position. So Drew is gonna take the first game. Um, Not so Trump by that, you know, Rogue and Warrior though. Yeah. I'm not too sure what I mean. Dog's lineup is still full, right? With Priest, Rogue, Druid, versus Trump's Priest Rogue Warrior, so and there's bad. a Harrison Jones. There's a Harrison Jones in that Priest deck. So versus Rogue and Warrior, this could prove somewhat helpful. It can be helpful, but still, I think Rogue has the upper hand here. I'd venture to say so, yeah. I mean, I don't know well, what be the case, but Death Lords are there. Yeah, exactly. Death Lord is there, and if there will be a villain's chosen and no sap for the Death Lord, or, or an example like a turn three Death Lord into sap, into Death Lord, into sap, and then, then you know there are no more saps, you just go nuts on the Death Lord with villain's chosen, powered shields, and in a fire. Yeah, like <laughs> like that that Chinese tournament where the guy just won on turn four, was it? With the Death Lord into you know, Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, Coin Inner Fire. Did you see that? No, I didn't. It was crazy. It was like a Chinese tournament, an actual real game, like handlock versus priest, and the guy just won. Straight up, like turn four or five. I was I was mind blown. It's like the stars <laughs> have to align to be in a tournament setting where that happens, but it's still uh, absolutely incredible. All right, so it's going to be Dog's Druid versus Trump's Rogue. Trump has a Rogue and Warrior left in his lineup, and Dog is going to be facing off against them with uh, Druid, which I think has to be a pretty good option because it beats Warrior very often, and versus Rogue is like a coin flip, 50-50, um, going into the game blind. And if Dog teched his Druid to contain perhaps a Harrison Jones as well, like we've seen earlier in the tournament, that could also make the matchups a bit more lopsided in his favor. I agree. What well, do... Still, Rogue. I, I, most people say that Rogue is favorable. It has a favorable matchup against Druid, right? I, that's, that's, a lot of people would tend to agree, yeah, because yeah. of the the sap that denies the innervates very often. But I still think it's. Um, it depends, of course, on the builds, but I, I, I would say it's equally. It, the chances are equal of winning from both sides. What do you think about keeping Sprint Sap? I mean, sprint I, prep. I might consider keeping sprint prep just because they're together. Yeah, give me you either you or and I just throw them back. But give them both together to me, and I'm probably keeping them. And dog finds the wild growth. I've got the beast in my sight. Not There's no beast at all. You know, the one time this guy will actually be right is when the beast is actually played. And oh my rag, hello. And then lives not useful. Well, you can sprint on turn three. Prep coin, <laughs> sprint. So here, is swipe face for just to send a message. Yeah, I okay. will just wreck you with my swipe. Farseer, greetings. You know what? I did the most awesome thing yesterday. I actually said I will crush you with my warrior and use crush. <laughs> I felt like a On god <laughs> for all of the three seconds. Yeah, crush face exactly. I, I didn't like the with skipping crush. the keeper of the growth. I would just play it. I would tend to agree with you, but you've got to be afraid of backstab SI where that's an unnecessary sacrifice. Probably. But you have no, you have like no place at all. What did you say? Does. Oh. Never mind. I heard no, I heard no plays at all, followed by bro, bro the tummy. That's what I, heard. <laughs> I don't even know what he says, but it's something along those lines. I but bring life and. <laughs> <laughs> Alex draws a sound MVP, uh, and you know that's what she says, by the way, right? No, like that's exactly I, what I hear. I bring life I and hate, or life I and bring joy. Life and hope for everyone. Does she? <laughs> Does she now? Because I have never heard that in my life. I think so. That's. I think that she. She says that. 
Okay, well, I'll be uh, more educated on the matter next time I face off against her. All right, Dog has a Keep of the Grove for the Pilot of the Trader. Maybe that's why he kept it, to make sure he could counter some of the... Because, I mean, Rogue plays a very tempo-heavy deck nowadays. So, I'm I do sure. understand. Oh. Well, better get a Captain's Parrot, mate. Or One-Eyed Cheat. Or oh. Novice Engineer. Or Murloc. Or, or, oh or that. Goodness. The um, The life expectancy of Trump's Rogue has gone up drastically. Good thing he doesn't have, like, an infinite army of 1-1s. One infinite army would probably be the best. How do you like prep sprint into Coin of Israel? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like mean, I, I'm seeing the Blood Mage and I'm like, I guess not. Never mind that. That was a... That was a nice idea, but... Obviously not well, that, one That's right, I would say, you know? Yeah, he has it. the time. He has the time to do it. Mm -hmm. Next turn, big mistake here. He actually uh, attacked after the armor, so <gasps> he can't shield oh, slam. Oh no! Can't shield slam. Yeah, exactly. What do you do? Keeper. Then six is perfect for Trump. He can sprint into eviscerate. For the face, yeah. It's... Yeah, exactly. That that's a that sends oh. a message. Uh, Keeper of the Grove, Hero Power, probably. It's going to be a bit of a weird play, but it, actually what's going to be tough is the Ragnaros if he eviscerates the Keeper. I think that's what's going to be tough. Because he doesn't have a sap yet. He needs to find it. And even if he does sap, he then has to redeal with it. So he has to find, like, Vile Teacher and sap off of Sprint to make this turn super oh. sick. And oh my god, was I wrong. Oh, I think you just slam it down, right? Honestly, I think I would. You gain so much value of that prep coin and backstab. Like, I don't even know how you can... I mean, I guess prep sprint makes sense insofar as you're going to get even more Emperor value next turn. But then you're... Can you allow yourself to skip a turn now? Oh, I guess he feels, he feels he can. He's got seven mana next turn, so he's got, you know, Lothab, Drake. Well, okay, he got the agent, so he can squeeze... Four damage for for free mana, so yeah, that, this is actually perfect for him. That went well, but that was the last yeah. draw from the sprint. So if if he wouldn't get it, he would have to sacrifice eviscerate, most likely. Yeah, well, he's doing pretty fine right now. I mean, dog has to go for a Drew the Claw Wrath play unless he goes all in on Rag and hopes his opponent never has Sap. The problem with the Rag play is that if the opponent has Sap, you're out. Like you're gonna get snowballed out of the game pretty quick. Like, if, if this doesn't hit Dominion, this is going to be really painful for Dog. And it hits Dominion. Maybe he wanted to hit Phase to get a combo ASAP, but I don't think so. so... Alright, Lothab or Azure Drake? I think Azure Drake Sap is better than Lothab in this case. I would Cause... agree. Yeah, because you're expecting Rag to come back down, right? Mm-hmm. And you're setting up your hand for a massive burst. Man, when Emperor Thorsten falls down on a hand like this... But it won't. Man, that's the problem. I think he really should have played the Emperor on turn 6. Like, that's his... I mean, he can play it next turn. Emperor into Sap is going to be disgusting if Dog replays the, the Rag. Where's the Sap? Oh, there's the second Sap. Okay, never mind. Yeah, there's a second Sap. Oh. 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 Wait. Do you? Well, There's no lack... combo yet, unfortunately. You lack the damage. Yeah, I think so you're I'll... gonna have to go for Jill yeah, yeah. here, right? Yeah, oh, I agree. Man. Agree! That is a bit unfortunate for Dog. He's got many lines of play, but none of them feel good. Like, not a single one of them really feels like it should be done. You have to go for the mana efficient play and regain board control. So the question is, is Wrath Hero Power, Drew to the Claw, better than Swipe? Because Swipe is going to be useful with the Violet Teacher, right? You don't want to deny yourself the Violet Teacher clear. And 4 damage to the face when you're 28, it's not bad. You only take 3. It adds up against Rogue's Burst, but I think ultimately at this point it's something you have to consider. I think if he were on 10 mana, this would be an easy Emperor's Swipe play. But so close. He's oh, gonna go for the wow. Ragnaros. 
balls of steel, man. Balls, balls of, of steel, steel indeed, and he kills a drake. Wow, wow. this Ragnaros has eaten a sap, a drake, and an SI. And now Dog is forcing a second sap from Trump, who's definitely gonna go for Emperor. I mean, I can't imagine he wouldn't. Look at this, come on. Or maybe Vow Teacher sap. Is that is that something you would do? To spawn but then a 1-1? Falls one? into the swipe trap. Yeah. I don't think you can do that without having seen swipe. Dog going for those 50-50s, winning both of them back to back. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Emperor Sap is going to be so painful. Cause now Dog can't lead that to a 50-50, can he? No, he can't. He will just like, use swipe. Everything. Rack. Actually, yeah. Oh man. Well, this is your moment to shine. Dang. Love That's a tough format. recovery. That is a tough recovery here. Is he if I see him go for another rag play, I nominate Dog the man with balls of steel. Like there is nothing else to say. This is the most gamblish play I'd ever see. Afterwards he can go play pinball. Pinball? Yeah, there was a game. Balls, Balls of, of Steel? steel like, <laughs> the 90s. Okay, I was thinking Duke Nukem here, but sure, you got me. I didn't I didn't play enough pinball when I wasn't born. That was one of the... I think the, the most successful pinball computer game of all times. Balls of really? Steel. Really? Yeah. I wasn't even aware. I was playing StarCraft. <laughs> that was way before StarCraft. Okay. He goes for the rag? What? Wow. wow! You are you are officially the ballsiest man I've ever met. Let's see the may, outcome. May oh, the luck be with oh, you, mate, uh, because you... this is... This is... This is... Oh, wow! Oh, God, God, I don't even know. And Trump is facepalming, because right now he's got no way to answer this Ragnaros. We're esports now. You know, you know what's really funny, though, is that Ragnaros killed three minions, ate two saps, and demands another answer. Like, it's not remotely over. Hmm. So That's the scary minutes, part. Right? I guess you could go for Dagger Up, Prep, Eviscerate, play South Sea for free, and SI to kill Rag. That gives you a huge board, but then you're vulnerable to swipe. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Well, what about just Violet T-Train? Yeah, I think this might be his line of play here. Like dagger up, prep, eviscerate. But Violet Teacher puts up so many 1-1s one -ones that unless your opponent has a swipe, you win the game. But unfortunately for him, his opponent has a swipe. This sucks so much. So I think what Trump is thinking is my opponent had to play Rag three times back to back. He probably doesn't have any spells for removal. Yep. Do you think that's what he's thinking right now? Yeah, I think so. He is going to get punished. Oh man, Dog just did this Ragnaros has done everything. Like every bit of work this Rag did. So you probably not even skip the minions, right? Well, you've got to be afraid of a big blade flurry coming up eventually, right? You haven't seen any such thing so far. So we'll have to see what Dog does, but he plays his own Emperor. And... He's gonna go for the Wrath Hero Power on the Drake. So that the Eviscerate doesn't kill the Emperor outright. And he's gonna get a good amount of mana reduction here. Savage War for Will two mana, I think. Four, four, four by four? If it hits the minion... Oh, oh wow. You know okay. what's really scary though? Is double Jew to the Claw and Savage War. It's gonna be crazy. He's got that for 10 mana next turn. That's like the, you know, 10 mana That's combo. Well. That wow. That's almost the combo. Yeah. With all the combo. Well, well, you're, you got 14 with your face, right? So it's combo. Trump might have to play Lothab here, if anything. I think that Deadly Poison is going to be a saving grace. The The combination of Deadly Poison, Blade Flurry, and SI is going to be what brings him back. That's going to wipe the board very nicely, spawn a bunch of 1-1s, which Dog, unfortunately for Trump, can clear very efficiently. I still cannot believe the Ragnaros. I still cannot believe that rag. Tinker shops of oil. Where are you? Yeah, when I need you, right? I've devoted my life to Arn Jesus. 
And this is what you repay me with? You know, if Trump attacks into the Emperor instead of using the South Sea, he's dead. He's not gonna make that mistake though, because he's afraid of combo. I think it's just gonna be a good South Sea deckhand play. And it is, but now... He went even for the prep. Yeah. So he plays the low top 2, right? I think so, yeah, to yeah. secure the board so he can get a lethal in the following, uh, as a following play. But now Swipe and Hero Power will seal down this board. Um, for one turn, unfortunately, not longer than that. Now, if you have seen... Wait, 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 what about just swipe face? Can you win afterwards? No, you can't. Oh, well, swipe face, hero power face would win, yeah. Because you'd put your opponent on 14. But you, and then you, you have, have to double drill the... Claw, Savage War. No, no, you have lethal. Double, double drill of the claw with Savage War is 14. Oh yeah, that's 14, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if okay. he goes for that, he gets like his opponent, because the one ones are dead, can actually play Earth Ring Farseer and the anti heal bot if they get top decked. But besides that, it's pretty crazy. He doesn't go for it. The man I... with the balls of steel doesn't go for it. <laughs> what? Is that, is that, well, I think it's good because he's seen two saps. So the opponent has to smash his minions into a four attack one, which means they die to the one damage from the swipe. I can't believe that. I would just go nuts and swipe face. Would you? Yep. Yeah. What if Earthen Ring Farce here? You just lose the game. But he has like 1 to 12. Okay. Well, you would not have gotten punished in this position, so I guess your play would have been correct. But that's going to put Lotham on one health after attacking. That's going to put the possible... Um, Vile Teacher, if it's used at all, on one health, which means Swipe is going to be disgustingly good for Dog, for dog here. I, I don't think he can afford using the Vile Teacher here. Alright, he does not, but... So this board will like be that. forfeit. This board is gone for... for Trump. Swipe, Hero Power Power to Shredder is a good game. Almost. That was oh. second swipe. Well... Double Swipe into Power to Shredder? I think so. How much do you like that? Yeah, just double swipe. No, well, dog thinks otherwise. I think he's gonna go for the shredder swipe hero power play instead and keep the second swipe. Well, he finds a low thub. It's not a bad pickup. Oh, he goes for the hero power. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, Trump needs to find. Tinkers right now, followed by the but second of this race. You Does know what? That's happen? really sad that he doesn't set up for lethal next turn. I mean, with low, I, I guess there's an argument to be made. He would have won two turns ago. Yeah, but one heal would have been GG, right? One Belcher would have been GG. That should seal the game for Dog. Probably. I can't even believe this game. Ragnaros was played three times after Saps, and it always did what it had to. One of those rag hits, you know, missing would have changed everything. Yep. One miss would have probably lost Dog the game. So those plays were super all in. No argument about that. So Edwin Van Cleef on the Shredder, get a Doomsayer and possibly live. You serious? Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you're dead. But it doesn't matter. Trump just decides to concede. Doesn't he even. He didn't check. even try it. Nah, doesn't care. Knows he's dead, and Dog takes the win. Um, that's a pretty convincing win, despite the RNG. I mean, I don't even know how this happened. I mean, this, this shouldn't happen that often. I mean, three rag hits, two saps used, and then he had to invest. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. Even Amaz can't handle that. <laughs> the rag lord can't handle the rag value. Yeah. Still, I mean, that's that's some serious play. So Druid for Dog is now locked out. He's got Priest and Rogue versus Trump's um, Rogue and Warrior. So I think both Druids have won so far. Oh yeah, that's actually true. So those are out of the way. We won't see any more Force of Nature, Savage War. You know, Dog is left with the Priest and Rogue, and Trump is left with Rogue and Warrior. Yep. 
that should be pretty good actually when you consider um, like this is going to be an even matchup in effect like priest versus rogue I guess has a worse matchup than rogue versus warrior so I think dog's going to have to go for priest and he does go for priest we uh, we've gotten the word dog's going to be playing priest versus trump's warrior which I think makes quite a bit of sense um, queuing up rogue into rogue or warrior is not a good play if Trump uses Gorhol in this deck, this might matter a lot. There's a Harrison Jones in Dog's deck. Oh yeah. But yeah, it would matter a lot either way. Uh, the Gorhol is the Nightmare of Priests, because they get more removal than you can have. You you have spot removal, maybe one or two AoE clears, but not more than that. Gorhol is just like 5 for 1. Yeah, against Priests, it's crazy. Well, we'll see if he does have Gorhol. I wouldn't put it past Trump. I think this is a card that Lends itself pretty well to the playstyle that he has for Warrior in general. Yeah, it's a very nice. slow card, very high value card. And in a control mirror match, I think it's pretty solid. Alright, so we're getting to the game shortly. I didn't see a light bomb in Dog's deck, and that's a pretty decent no, card we didn't. playing up against, uh, you know, control. There's a mi mind control and shadow madness. Hmm. I'm at least keeping Harrison Jones as a priest here. Um, Trump doesn't know that there is a Harrison Jones. No, he, he didn't doesn't. see it last game. Oh, he kept it. Okay, never mind. That is spectator just like, you know. Oh, I saw a light bomb. I saw a light bomb, a glimpse of a light bomb. Wow, the Death Lord has actually no answer in Trump's hand right now. There will be an execute next time, don't worry. Yeah, cool Taskmaster execute. So he's just gonna coin out the Shredder, I think. I think that's the most sensible line of play, in fact. The weapons are the most important cards against Priest, but we haven't seen any yet. And Dog finds another Shredder on the back, and this is gonna be a sick start for him. That's big. The Battle of the Shredders, aka Who Gets Millhouse. Well, he's gonna hmm. take off the armor to deny the shield slam. I like that. That's very straightforward. You know what? Trump's mid game is looking really powerful. The Uncle of the Pain of Taskmaster is one of my favorite combos. Yeah, especially in this case, since it hits for three, which means it kills um, the Shredders that are on the board. Mm -hmm. The Boss Shadow Priest is a good wear here. Do you trade first? Do you trade? If you're going to play Sylvanas? Well, okay, yeah, right. I mean, I'm just trying to think here, like, what uh, Trump decides to do. Because it's all about his next turn, right? Like, if he wants to play Emperor or Shield Maiden. I don't think Shield Maiden is going to be the play, unless things change. Um, but Sylvanas is probably going to be a huge consideration. So if you commit that, you just go face with Alter Shredder. Yeah, I next think so. Sylvanas. You're kind of lacking the brawl. That would be the per perfect draw here. Well, I said, what is Cabal Shadow Priest for? But we just saw the Acolyte of Pain show up. So how good is Northshire Cleric heal the Shredder after killing the 2-2? Uh, I, I would agree with the Force Slur, rather. Oh! Wow! wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a pretty good outcome. I would say. Yeah, I mean... And now, if... if no, I, would, I wanted to say that if he, if he ignores the 2-2, then you know that he has the Cabo Shadow Priest. Uh, is that something you want to kill Shadow Priest, or do you want the Armor Smith more so than anything else? I think you just, want, you just want the, the value as soon as possible to get, you know, the Zoo, the Warrior. Yeah. Man, Trump's gonna get an Emperor on this. This is just gonna be insane. Shield Maidens for five, and all the big legendaries in his hand for one less mana. That is just turning and he his is hand into a complete... that face. Yeah, I feel like Trump is playing Druid right now. Kinda. That's how I feel. Oh, wow. Nice, nice shot where Death he got. Well, he has Light Bomb, too. Would you do that? Mm, kill the Palter Shredder first with your weapon. Go face. Or do face. you just go full face? Yeah, and then... 
No, I don't think that's that's good. You can drop the Death Lord. Yeah, you Shadow Death, Death Lord is better. And right? Shadow Word Death, and then go face for eight. I agree. You can even kill the Pelted Shadow with, with your weapon. Well, he might go for the Light Bomb play. I'm really curious ah. if that's gonna work out. The problem is, like, if a 2 nah. 3 comes out of this, then what happens? Oh, well, oh. that's gonna be. Well, that's a perfect of a convenience light bomb if you want that's to. Perfect use for it. Death Lord. What do you think about the Death Lord? You have it for a reason in your deck. So you have to at least use? Shadow or Death, though. Like, you can't let that Emperor live. There's no way. Oh! Wow! 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 wow. Well, that was huge. No Doomsayer. Wow, he can heal his minions yeah, now. Yeah, he can this heal his minions. Wow, this is overpowered. If only uh, Blizzard would design that. Oh, man. Imagine if you could put armor on minions. You know what I'm worried about, though, is the dog, you know, he just got the board and everything, but he is in a... Like, the, the amount of pressure that Trump can pack is just insanely high. Um, Sylvanas? Armor up? Or just Dr. Boom. I like it's... Dr. Boom, but Dog Dog has a Shadow of Death. He's going to be able to handle that pretty nicely. That Dr. Boom should have been played tin before. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, the interesting part about Emperor Thorsten is it increases the, like, the combinatorix of the combinatorix of the, the gameplay to where, where you might play around something that usually comes out on 7. Now you don't even play around it on turn 6 because it's pointless. There's too many lines of play that can occur from that. Um, just because of Emperor, it makes the whole thing so much more complex. Like, picking the perfect play with Emperor be having been played on such a big hand makes your turn such a nightmare. True. And he's gonna go for the Sylvanas armor up play that you, you mentioned. Which I think is right. Unless he finds some kind of healing. Oh, that's not it. So, do you just trade into Sylvanas and then steal back whatever he takes? With Cabal? Mm. Oh, well, guess not. Maybe just Death Lord and pass. Sludge Belcher or Death Lord, pick one. Sludge Belcher is safer. I would say. And he has to push for damage, so I totally agree with his kind of play. Now Trump finds the shield block, but no shield slam. Actually, if he attacks that Belcher and plays Baron Geddon, he gets. He a gets... minion guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, but the, the minion will be damaged. Uh, I don't see a point in that. I, I feel you just go with Dr. Boom. I like Geddon. But... No, he goes for that. Okay. I mean, imagine if you get the Shredder. Well, that's like a 33%. Right. Uh, but are you, are you that bad off if it doesn't work? Because turn 9 is like Belcher, Shield Maiden. So you're theoretically still okay and you're drawing a card off the Acolyte. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. So the slime goes down, and Baron Geddon gets... Oh! No Shark Cleric, that's the worst for Trump. Although it does deny his opponent the ability to draw, I don't think at this point it's very relevant. Wait, wait, wait. You can go for 8 to, to the face, 8 to the dome, and follow it up with... with Nova for free. Hmm. Could you overdraw your opponent, actually, with Nova? If you heal a minion, then Holy Nova, I think you're actually overdrawing your opponent. You, you can, because if you heal the, uh, heal the Priestess for two, you, you still kill it with the Holy Nova. Yeah, but she triggers at the same time with Shadow Boss. Oh, yeah, right. right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, right, right, right. So you heal it, you heal the Acolyte of Pain. And then, and then uh, I, mean, I, I don't think that's a play you can make, but still, it could be funny. Um, it's just, it's just, I wish, I wish that had been what he did. He's gonna check for Geddon. I would've done that the other way around. Micro Machine is not bad. Yeah, it's a pretty decent card. It puts high pressure, but much later on. That spite is found. No Grom yet for Trump. No Grom at the moment. Uh, I think I didn't like the play that Doc, that Doc made, you know? I think it's a bit weak, but... I would we'll rather use the comes. Shadow of Death on that Baron Geddon. Then trade the Shredder away, right? I yeah, would have kept yeah. the Shredder perhaps for a bit longer. That Shredder was so much pressure, and now he just lost the pressure. Ah, that's a good card. That's going to extend his possible life expectancy by quite a bit. Yeah, but you lose the board control right now. Yeah. You got mind control for later. You're gonna get it back eventually. 
Me. Not convinced. Me. I'm not convinced. I would just use the shadow of death. He's like sitting with two of those, and that was that broken. belongs in a museum. Kappa. <laughs> you know, I'd like to have a visitable museum in game. Every weapon that I've ever destroyed ends up there. Like an achievement book. Yeah. Where? Like, what, I have to destroy all the weapons. <laughs> then you just complete. So many the cool achievement. ideas for the achievement. Is someone from Blizzard watching this? Yeah, I don't know. There's like too many good uh, good ideas. I'm pretty sure they're already working on something along those lines, but. I'm sure they're busy. Yet. Yeah. And yeah. look at that. Crew Taskmaster is say, saying to them right now. Get back to work. That's a pretty clear and bore clear into the sludge belcher. That's gonna give Dog a run for his money. Actually, it's really not that hard for him to handle, but you know. Well, he can use the uh -oh. Shadow Priest. Goblin. So, Cabo Wait. Shadow Priest, the 2 2. And... What if Gilblin's. I think Nova has to be played with the anti kill bot. But that's just me. Okay, he, uh, you know what? Deathlord is probably even better. Mm -hmm. Noxious Slide. Dog's got I'm all the answers sure. in the world, actually. Like, I really like Dog's position right now. It's just gonna be so impossible for Trump to recover from this. Do you know what? I don't like the Deathlord being played so late into the game. I think it's better late when you have two Light Bombs. Because you I actually th have all the ways to handle it, right? Like, Ragnaros comes out, you can instantly get value out of it. But... What if he, he just executes the Deathlord, gets the Gromash for free, and combos you? How often? I guess that could happen often enough, though. Yeah. It's a consideration. I didn't really think about that. I mean, it's a, it's a possibility. I'm just not sure how much well, I want to play around it. I think you just get more value from the Deathlord if you play it really fast, because then the amount of damage that someone can squeeze out from um, his deck is way lower. And if, if, if Grom is brought out now... Dog just wins. Like, he can kill it right away. He can mind control it. Yeah, like, you can just... No, I think you light bomb Shadow or Death, because if you mind control, then Dr. Boom stays up. Oh, yeah, but, that's right. I mean, this is just going to be crazy. If if Grom is forced out, I think Trump is going to be in a world of hurt after this. What about Ragnaros? Ragnaros is fine target, too. Ow. If Ragnaros comes out, I think I might control it, perhaps. But then again, I don't want to leave Dr. Boom up, no matter what. Like, I think that's too dangerous. Like, Alex Straza coming out, Grom Hellscream coming out. There's so many things that could come out that would be problematic. And Dog hasn't made his mind up, and he finds... A Sludge Belcher, not Which at is all the what he worst wants to see. At all. So, yeah, definitely not what he wants to see here. He's gonna have to do a Light Bomb on this board. And it's going to leave a slime up, but it's not really that big of a deal in this case. Two slimes, uh -oh. man. That's not good at all. Yeah, he's not hes not happy with that, with that play at all. So you shield block first, right? I mean, tr I feel like Dog is still ahead. If he I have is. to make a call, but it could come down to just Trump, you know, getting back-to-back -back big drops. And pushing Dog out. Dog is, is still ahead, but the problem is that Trump has one card that is an insta-win in this situation. Well, Zombie Chow is also going to help Trump get back up in health. Mm -hmm. he is this going to be another... I don't think you can Light Bomb again. Actually, yeah, I think you could in this position. Light Bomb once, and then... I mean, Light Bomb isn't even that great. Maybe just take the slime. It's so mediocre, though. But what are you going to get, Armor Smith? Uh, I think you have well, to take the slime. Well, you have one Shadow Death, you know? So you can play Belcher or Shadow War Death. I think you can want to keep Death for Alex Straza or, uh, or Rag, though. But we'll see. Okay, he does go for the Death. Never mind. He wants to regain the board at all costs, putting his opponent on a dead hand. And... Oh, look. There's the Goho. Ugh. <sighs> But I think you I'd, I have to Death's say, now. yeah, I was gonna say, like, it's pretty lucky for Dog that there's a slime there because this would have been excruciating. I think you still go to, for Death Spite because you killed the one protector and you want to. Uh, well, I'm not sure how many cards are left in the deck, but if there's like a 
a really high chance of drawing Gromash, I would favor that over the gore hole. Well, that's a pretty good line. I mean, Dog's got a really sick boy right now. Huh? Oh, that's a pretty nice, uh... That's a pretty nice pickup. And now Trump can't kill the Sludge Belcher with the Gore Hull because he's got 7 health. How that does he sucks. handle this? Yeah, that really sucks. To put it mildly. Hmm. Oh! oh. Nice pickup. The one card that could have killed the Cabal here. Shield Slam would have done it, actually. Never mind me. So you, you kill this Cabal and just wait. You have to, I think. Unless you start whacking away because you've got so much armor. Yeah, he does whack away at the minion, but what can Dog do with that? Could he Valence chosen it out of any reasonable kill range? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I like Deathlord. Deathlord is this also really nice, yeah. I love Deathlord in this matchup. It's so fun. Now that just, just saw, you just saw the Execute. The second one, top yeah. Decked, yeah. You have to be worried about Shield Slam, though, is my guess. Well, you could go for Valence Chosen, heal the Belcher, put yeah, it up and 7 health, and then hope the Trump doesn't find Shield Slam. I would do that. Welp! Dog's having a hard time making his mind up. Alright, I guess in the end he wants to keep the Valence Chosen for later pressure. Keep the mind control for the obvious big Ragnaros, Alex Chaza, Gromash. Oh, that's the Gromash, but that's too late. That two yeah, big it's... minions. It's not even good. Dog's got way too many answers to that. Although, how many cards does Dog have left in his deck? That's the one thing I wish I could mouse over. That'd be a nice guys, piece of information. The guys from production will do it at Tell in a few seconds, I hope. Because this game could come down to fatigue. It probably will, in fact. Ah, Nova. Not exactly an amazing card. Trump has seven cards. Doug has five. Okay, so Trump is actually way ahead in the fatigue game. But he's also got no board where Dog has a really good one. And I think Dog's worry is that Brawl comes up ever. And then he loses what little advantage he's got. But by buffing a slime, he's actually able to wither, like, weather down the armor count mm -hmm. and sure. thus denying Shield Slam. Yep. Oh, never mind. He will draw a Shield Slam eventually with that, right? And there it is. Wow. <laughs> well, now that's going to thin the deck a lot, though. That is going to thin the deck quite I a bit. Too. So now they yeah. eat. They're on five, and if he Shield Slams a Death Lord, that's going to bring him down to four. And Dog's going to be able Do to mind control whatever big Death job. Lord. Well, he's going to have to die eventually. Yeah, but do I, you want? You can just kill it when you're on fatigue, right? But do you want to take ten damage up until then? Do you That's want a to lot get Alex Straza on board? Um, you don't want to do that. I've seen two Shadow Ward deaths. Maybe I would. But you didn't but see not. any mind control. And what do you do then when Alex Straza is being? Mind I, I think controlled? what he wants to get. Yeah, I think honestly, Trump's options are starting to look very, very bleak. Like, Dog's hand indicates that he can actually live through fatigue because of the heal bot. And he's got the mind control and the light bomb in case Dog ends up doing something. I mean, Trump pulls out some huge legendary. Oh, legendary! And he's and... gonna kill the slime. So he, he is planning on going to the fatigue war with Deathlord being still alive. Oh. 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 That's convenient. Uh, Trump has to have a brawl left in his deck, right? Do we have to make that assumption? Um, well, he might not play it. It's one of the cards that can, that can be rotated out. Yeah. I guess he well he does run Geddon, so to some extent he's got to be playing around some type of mid-range aggro, at the very least. Uh, another oh. weapon for Trump. You that can't play Grom sucks. here, can you? There's no way. No. Uh, I think you can just concede. I'd venture to say Trump has no way to end the game, but we'll have to see. 
That's my guess. Like, you can kill the Death Lord alright with Gromash and, you know, pop out a Ragnaros and have the board, but then Dog Mind Controls your Rag and then he pops your uh, Grom and then smashes into Rag and what are you now? We've got Alex left and that's about it. And that's the best case scenario, if we assume everything lines up. Trump is thinking this through and through. And he ultimately just armors up and passes, giving Dog the ability to deal a few more points of damage. Oh unimpeded. wow, Shadow Madness. Now he can Shadow Madness his own creature. No, wait. That would be like a Wind Fury. Value! Now Trump is getting... Oh, that is a down. brawl. Yeah, what's it gonna but... do though? Dog's not overextending on this board. Not making the mistake that Trump hopes he does. So the question Trump has for himself now is, do I brawl this and hope the Death Lord dies and I can kill at 3-2 with my Gore Howl? Um... Or do I wait for another brawl that Dog will never give me? Do you think Dog would ever give Trump a better brawl? I don't know, man. Trump is doing uh, arithmetic sequences in his head, calculating fatigue damage. I can They're one card away from fatigue, I think, or two cards at the very most. What what card would save Trump in this situation? Deathwing? No, not even. No, I definitely would just prolong the agony. <laughs> it wouldn't even prolong it because there's a mind control right away. It yeah, it's probably by one turn. I guess. Yeah. I guess getting Alex Straza and using it on the priest would help. Because you don't want to kill Death Lord, as you said before, you're into fatigue. Mm -hmm. Look at the amount of damage Death Lord did. Like that's about ten damage at the very least. That's like a zombie chow on steroids. Yeah. Well. Dog could play Norshark Cleric, but the question is, what does it accomplish more than anything else, right? Like, why not just wait at this point? You can see the warriors desperate for, for options. Anything. Yeah. Oh, uh, look, there's Alex Straza. There helpful. goes a play for Trump. There goes a play. It has to be played, because that triggers the mind control and that triggers the brawl. By the way, Doug has two cards, Trump has three. Yeah, now down to two for Trump with that actual. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And Trump is finally about to play. No, he's not about to play. Oh, I think I understand what he wanted to do. He wanted to get the armor smith with Brawl, maybe keep it, get the rag out with the Death Lord, then go for Alex, and then Grom Hellscream for the kill. That's a really convoluted way to win. But it might just be what he needs. If the Armorsmith lives... Oh! <gasps> and it does. If Rag and? comes out, and it should, and it's not, never mind. It's yep. still kind of okay. But now he's in... He, he's in for the fatigue, right? He should have... That, oh, that's Dog's card. got Thought Steal! The card what, advantage is card? real. He's gonna see Shield Slap. <gasps> there is no ah. Ragnaros in Trump's deck. He cut it out for Baron Geddon. No, no, for oh, oh, Gar was Rag Garhal. Garhal. For Garhal. Was a Rag played this game? I didn't see one. No, 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 he played, he's playing Gorho instead of uh, Ragnaros. All right. Well, all right. Well, that means Alex Straza is definitely coming down right now. Um, or at least, you know, he could kill the Sylvanas if he wants to. Or Alex Straza full face. You just Alex Straza face, then attack with everything you've got. Let him handle the uh, double armor smith. And then go for a death bite, kill with weapons. Light bomb. And go face with Sylvanas, light bomb, take the 8 free. Alexstrasza. Well, no, the Armorsmiths might, might, might be taken instead. Oh wait, yeah, now what I'm talking about? Because light, light bomb yeah, will yeah, kill yeah, Alexstrasza yeah. systematically. What I'm talking about? Never mind. I think Trump's gonna go full face here. He doesn't have the choice. He's got to press for lethal, and he definitely is doing so. So Dog knows what's coming. As Dog knows the weapon pressure is gonna be coming up, but he's got the heal bot at the very least. 
The shield slam is no help to him at all. He has if no you mind control, answer. if you mind control, how risky is it? How wrong was I? Right? I said Trump has no chances. And now it's like on the ropes. I think you might just go for uh, Shadow Madness, Shadow Madness Smith, yeah. attack into Alex Straza, go face with Sylv, then Light Bomb, steal the other Armorsmith. Wait, what about this? You Shadow Madness Armorsmith, kill the second Armorsmith, Light Bomb. No, no one. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't kill yours, unfortunately. Like, you wouldn't kill the first one. Yeah, I think this is gonna be... There's like three ways Doc can approach this, but both seem to me as equally valid. If he's counted cards, he knows his opponent doesn't have another cool task, but he may be afraid of the He has a shield way. slam. He knows that he has a shield slam, and he knows yep. he has four armor. So if he doesn't attack face, he will leave the Gromash for and to, then to be activated by the... Uh, yeah, this has, this has to be a Shadow Man display. This has to be a Shadow Man display. Nothing else will save him in this position. He can even use the shield slam if he wants to. Okay, what's happening? Of... Uh, no, yeah, he, he can, he can kill... Uh, yeah, he can kill whatever's left, effectively. By having the armor up, right? Yeah, but this is leaving... Trump winning, right? He will win, right? Wait, wait, wait. No, he hasn't He hasn't won. Not even close. Yeah. He can deal 10 damage and... There's a heal bot. Will, will get one from Fatigue, so he will bet one. He's one of lethal. Yeah. Really well played by Dog, by the way, that turn. Yeah, the armor smith, the one armor from armor smith was exactly what he needed. That that Shadow Madness was mandatory for him to live. Yep. That heal bot, though, is probably going to be MVP. Then again, those weapons may be able to pull through, because Trump's got Death's Bite plus the Grom. So you so. just go face with that. Wait, he will be at... He can heal for 2, and the heal bot, so 10. So he will be oh. at 16. He will deal 1 to the himself, and then 2. So he will be at 13. 13, yeah. So that's lethal for Trump. With the Hillbot? Yep. Yeah. What about the Armorsmith? Could that help at all? No. If he, if he light bombs at all at any point. No, Hillbot is going to be the mandatory play no matter what. Yeah. That is going to be... I think he might have to shield slam one of his own minions, but he can't, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, it's the one thing you wish you could do is shield slam. So now he gets two. So he and that's actually again, the, two, the two AOE death bite. The AOE from death bite is gonna trigger the armor oh, up. Yeah, the dog. That yeah, that's right. Oh my god, is that gonna come down to an armor smith having been stolen? I didn't account for that art for that damage. Mm -hmm. Me neither. So you you first armor up and shield slam the armor smith, and you Why? can't play Chrom oh. afterwards. You, you should, have to wait one whole played, turn. He should have played the Fury War X first. You have, to, you have to wait one entire turn. You have to armor up Shield Slam and then go for the Grom kill. Yeah, but you, he should have played the Fury War X last turn just to deal face damage with that, you know? Yeah, but then how does he trigger Grom? He, like, it's going to take three turns about to get the, the lethal. I think armoring up Shield Slamming the Armorsmith now and waiting one more turn for Grom might be what he has to do. Yeah, in this situation, yeah, for sure. I hope Trump sees it. Because that's a very, very tricky spot. Actually, you could play Grom and Shield Slam him for 14 damage and kill him with Fatigue, right? Dog's taken two. Yeah, he's got lethal. Go face first with Grom, then bring him down to zero. Because the armor doesn't save you. Unless I'm mistaken. Like, if you're at zero and you get armor over it, does it save you? Why? What? Whoa. Why did he do that? Okay, no, Dog was just a 2 fatigue. Yeah, yeah, he was a 2, but why did he kill the Dark Cultist? So now now you just Light Bomb to get health off. You played Norchai Cleric Light Bomb to get 3 health. Yeah. And then you can Shield Slam something if you feel like you it. You can right? Shield Slam your bot. Yeah, later on. I think this is definitely the play Dog's gonna be making. I, I thought maybe shell slamming the armor smith made more sense for Trump. Yeah, it, it was would. one off lethal again. I would I, say it's Trump's would. play would have still been. It would have been a one off lethal because the fatigue count was a two instead of three. I miscounted. 
，那我们。Well, he's got to do that light bomb. If he doesn't do it, this is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be really close. Is it game? Wait, no, it's gonna free. be really close. He's gonna get 14 damage. Free. He's gonna be at Five? one health. Yeah, he will be at one health. Will he have lethal? Dog, Trump will get two. So, next. No, no, no wait. Fall Mind control right? is lethal. Yeah, he has to. So. Well, it's over for Trump. There's no way he can win, right? There's nothing. If, if dog will use light bomb next turn. Well, he he should have used it this turn, but I think what. Like the, the armor smith is basically preventing Trump from reaching for lethal right away. Going for phase damage, I think he's gonna try to OTK his opponent if anything. But now dog has to light bomb for health. He's got and to. Does he seize it? I hope so. I think so. Wow. But... I wouldn't. I couldn't believe that dog wouldn't see it. But why didn't Trump just kill the armor smith? I, I don't get it, man. Really? They were playing around stuff that might not be there. I'm not sure. You know, it's easy as a caster sometimes to make calls like these. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, all, we're, we're so privileged, right? Yeah. Alright, well, he does see the play and goes up for the, uh, goes for the armor up to the armor smith, realizing it's really unnecessary for him to hoard anything else. Now you just punch face repeatedly. You might even shield slam your own Northshire Cleric at the end of that sequence. To make sure, because that, like, you don't need her anymore, really. You're gonna yeah. win in two turns if everything goes well. And, uh, but you you can count if that armor will even matter, and I don't think it matters. Yeah, not now. Not with the amount of damage that so Trump's you, about to take. It's lethal next turn. And Trump is being punished by not killing the armor smith now. There's 20 damage. Yeah, that should be game. He would have won! He would have won the game, yeah. If he'd killed the Armorsmith, he would have won the turn afterwards. Yep. We calculated it. It was... It was... Uh, it was one at that point. And now, no matter what happens... This is over. And Dog goes up to infinite amounts of armor. And Trump will die of fatigue next turn, no matter what. He's dead on board. That is going to be game. That was a long Smith game. Man. Really, really paid off for Dog. That Armor Smith was the game winning card yes. from Sylvanas. That's true. Wow. All right. Well, that's going to be game number three between those two players. Dog is going to go up 2 1. So his priest is now locked out. He's got one deck left. That is the Rogue. So he's going to have to win against Control Warrior with Rogue, which is a feat in and of itself. Um, and then versus Trump's Rogue as well, so it's going to be a coin flip, quote-unquote. Going to the fifth, uh, the, the last match of the day, the last game, that is. So I think Trump will stick with the Warrior. Knowing he's up against Rogue, yeah. I think that's definitely what you do. Last game felt like a Metapod versus Metapod. Everyone used Harden. Everyone uses, uses Harden? Yep. I like Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Kakuna versus Metapod, who wins? Still remember how many hours I spent on blue and red. I just I just played yellow, man. I never played blue and red. <laughs> Filthy casual. Yeah, I started with Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never played the other ones afterwards. I was, unfortunately, first, I was I was almost always starting with Bulbasaur. Did you? Was yeah, he good? Really? Yeah. I just, just remember Charmander being. Uh, no, it wasn't Charmander. There's like there's a Pokemon like Generation Three, like the Fire Pokemon, that was probably the most broken starting Pokemon ever made. Um, I just don't remember a thing about him. I didn't play the older generation. I mean, the newer generations at all. After Blue and Red, you stopped. Yeah. You missed out on like weird on, like, Pokemon. Like six hundred Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. There's there's got to be like one point two thousand by now. Like I don't really know them. Um, but, like back when Mewtwo was a thing. Like, that's when I stopped keeping track. But Mewtwo like, that's was a... a thing in blue and red. Yeah, I remember that. But, like, I, I kept track of, like, the starting Pokemon and the other ones because I always started a game, but I never got anywhere past, like, second town because the game was the same as blue and red except worse. <laughs> so, yeah. Pokemon, like, the, the first yellow, blue, and red were kind of the best. All right, Pokemon arguments aside, back into the game, or into the game, rather. Trump, Warrior versus Dogs, Rogue. That is going to be a really hard match for Dog. He's going to have to find some sick start 
And even better mid game if he hopes to win this one. And he doesn't have a coin. Wow. He can go all in with the advent. And I would like yeah. to see that. It's like, when it works, it works super well. Yeah. If only that would that advent would be the same as in beta. Stealthed, yeah. Stealth about. advent free free, right? With plus one plus one for each card. No, it was plus two plus two, but I think it was a one one baseline. Oh yeah. But right. it was stealthed, so it was still broken. Oh, that would be that's so a nice card. Broken. Having a sprint and a prep and that starting hand for dog is super important. Probably the most important exit like combination of cards you want to have against the control deck. It's very nice that he found it. And the Tinker is already set up. <laughs> oh, if dog can do this, it's gonna be with a hand like that one. Oh, there's an armor smith with Taskmaster. GG. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, dog. You will be missed. Like, you don't even want the Acolyte of Pain, you just want to armor up as much as possible. The reason being that it's so easy for for you as a... Like, as a warrior player to just stack health, where, you know, rogues have a limited amount of damage output. And you can easily negate that. Uh, good thing he didn't go all in on that Grom, on that uh, Edwin, ever. Hmm. Well, you kill it, right? You play Death's Bite to kill the Farseer. I'd be surprised if he went for the cool Taskmaster play, yeah. No. I don't think it would make any sense at all. You have the two executes, so you might just save that Taskmaster for the execute. I would say. Yeah, something like a Vile Teacher that you can't handle right away, perhaps. After you've exhausted the Death's Bite. That's definitely possible. All right, he equips the weapon and kills that Farseer. Now, how does the dog respond to that? Do you just prep sprint? Or you have that to prep sprint. What else, right? Well... Actually, wait. Prep, prep Tinker Edwin. But then with... you're getting punished by the Execute. Yeah, so yeah, by a long shot. And you don't draw with Sprint until like three turns down the line. Not a good idea. Yep. Trump is keeping the cruel task for the execute play eventually. That's a nice pickup for Dog. Mm, you backstab, right? Give him two points of armor, but that's still okay, I think. And you build board presence. I think it's better than the alternatives, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, have you have to, to keep Tinkers for um, an eventual Blade 3 with South Sea Deckhand. Like, in this matchup, you can generally afford to wait, unless things go super wrong. Edwin Van Cleef should be coming out. The, uh, the extra mana he's got. It's a 6-6, six, six, good enough. There is a Shield Slam. If he wants to go for it. Because, I mean, armor up Shield Slam into... Cool task to kill the 1-1 one -one is good enough. Now we have to... Yeah, well... Do you have to play the Taskmaster? You don't have to play it. But I think it's good enough to justify doing. So Trump's gonna be counting on those shield maidens to give him the armor. It's pretty... Wow, nice fan of knives here. Nice pick up for Dog here. Gonna be able to remove one of the minions on the board without having to expend too much. In fact, he's happy to cycle the cards in his deck, because you're generally not getting any value out of that fan of knives against warriors. Get it out of the way as soon as possible. And Trump has a good reason to death bite here. It's a shame that he already lost the first armor smith. A like double armor smith with an AoE effect is just... GG. Usually a good rogue. game, yeah. yeah. But the dog has really good follow-ups. You know, that prep sprint really gave him options. Now he finds the Azure Drake for the Eviscerate. Uh, and he's got the Shredder, which is really hard to remove since it requires two layers of removal. He's got double Tinkers for a huge push at some point in the mid-game. Which is very important. I think we're just going to shield, shield Maiden here.
That's one shield slam out. There's one left. That's 39 points of life. Yep. It's always difficult when you're rogue up against a warrior. That's pretty much what you sign up for. When you play that class, I think. You accept the loss against that specific match. Hmm. Does he play deadly? No, he does not. Alright. He's not going to play into Harrison Jones at all. And I have to say, Trump is actually in a bit of an awkward spot here. I wouldn't say that. You just play two minions, armor up, kill the, lo uh, kill the load up, and that's it. Yeah, but Dog might be getting a decent board after this. Like, Trump's gonna have to find really good cards off the Acolyte of Pain. Because, like, Alice Strauss is good, don't get me wrong, but... She's not the threat you want most. You know, and there's no Ragnaros also, I'd like to point out. Uh, I don't even think I saw... Did, was there Dr. Boom even? I forget. Yes, there was Dr. Boom. But there's no Ragnaros, and I think Rag is one of the most dangerous minions to play up against Rogue. Right? And, I mean, Dog's position is just unbearable for Trump. He's going to have to find something really impactful to handle this Shredder. The weapon hmm. is likely, but that's 7 damage you take to the face. And it still not bad. Nah, it's... I think it's pretty tough here for Trump if he doesn't find a removal. Oh, wow. That's a death spike. Yeah, seven to the face. Ouch. It's better than dying. Yeah, so definitely. Tough. So Whirling Zapomatic comes you know? out. Whirling Zapomatic comes out and it's gonna be crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> emperor Thorson, like a smaller emperor, has been found for dog here. And you know what? This might just be good wow, enough. That's, this is crazy. That's, that's oh wow. Crazy, really? I I can't believe this. He will push for damage. Oh, wow, that's so much damage. Look at that. And Fan of Nice for Cycle, obviously. That is what you want to do with it. Finds two, two saps for the Belchers. Well, that's that's oh crazy for God. the Belchers. For whatever he just played. Whatever Trump will play, it will be just sapped for a free turn. Yeah, I think what Trump has to do here is attempt a brawl play. Or brawl attack phase. And, yeah. I mean, there's like attack Drake with the weapon, then execute the 3 2, the 6 2, that is. That's also a safe play. That's and you better. don't have to you don't have to lose the uh, possible answer to Violet Teacher Flood. Oh, that's the crew Taskmaster. That's yeah. I would rather I, I would still use the execute on the uh Sorcerer's Apprentice and Crew Taskmaster the Acolyte of Pain. Yeah, for card draw. Yeah. You kinda you you're in dire need of card draw, I would say. Well I would say, you know, oh wow, he finds the Violet Teacher, saps the uh Acolyte of Pain does... Dog needs to find a sprint, to be honest. Right? I mean, I think we might even see Brawl in this position, or attack with Execute. I would say so. Yeah, there's like, there, there's a few blinds of play that Trump can take. This Belcher is not a good one. He doesn't know it yet, but... It is not a good one. Not on its own, at least. That's the Vile Teacher lives. He, I, I would say he doesn't predict the second sap. Oh, there's the 1 1. And Dog has lost all his mojo. Uh, although, you know what? This makes up for the early rags. <laughs> yeah. Like the three rags, back to back rags that just won the game. Now, what Dog needs to find desperately is a sprint. He's already seen two Azure Drakes, one sprint. He's got one card draw engine left and one blade flurry as well. So he's starting to run low on options, lower than Trump by a long shot. And Trump is thinking, what I would, could I would even... favor the Belcher, I would say. Yeah, I wouldn't really think about this too much, but I'm also not playing it. Maybe he just wants to find future options to end the game as soon as possible. Well, Sap SI is not a play. Not even when you're desperate for damage. I think you just pass here. That or you just play SI with nothing, but I don't think that's a play either. Hmm, my mic stopped working. I bet chat oh. was relieved. Welcome to Blue Yeti. <laughs> where it shuts off sometimes for no reason at all. Alright, he does pass the turn and does nothing else. 
So what will we see from Trump? And Alex Straza play would push for lethal very soon. And in fact, that's what we see. Trump smells blood. Blade Flurry into Agent would be nice. That's actually not too terrible. It's not good, mind you. Hey, it's pretty mm. bad, actually. But you got... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I, I went from this is not too bad to that's pretty okay. Not bad. Actually, wait, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, it is not at all what he wants to see, unfortunately. Uh, but he's got to push for the board as much as he can. By not playing a 1-1, he's not feeding into the Acolyte of Pain, and... Wow. That could be close. That could have been really close. You did card draw first? I think you just kill the 3-3, three -three, then attack into the 3-5 and execute. Like, you, you can find the card draw first, but... Yeah, yeah. Like, Dog will not find... <gasps> no. An answer to his prayers, I don't think. Not here. Not now. I mean, let's assume he finds a sprint. How does he even do anything with it? He's already played two saps. That such Belcher is a hard roadblock. You can just play the Gromish and kill the 3-3. Free -free. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it dies. You, you, you then can kill your opponent with Fire War Axe. I think if Doc finds a blade for you though, that Grom is gone. But then you just play Alex Strauss and heal yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, he that, found that's... exactly the card he needed. That, that is not an understatement. So Dog is making a really hard decision. And he whether or not he wants to die or live. And he decides to die. Well, <laughs> I guess that's gonna be it then. Fire War Axe plus Grom Hellscream will do it. Rest in peace. Really lopsided matchup for the Warrior, but then it will all come down to a rogue face off. This is 2 to 2 in the series right now. The slowest series we've had today by a long shot. And this should be uh, pretty interesting. I like rogue versus rogue. I really do. You do? Yeah. Uh... It's one of my favorite matchups. For me, it's like, who gets it first, you know? I think it's not as, you know, um, boring as, say, Druid versus Druid. Who gets I find, I find first? Druid versus Druid, like, very static. You um, know what I like? Face Hunter against Face Hunter. Because you see both players panic to go for the face faster. <laughs> yeah, so you can like see them frantically ATM just dragging crazy. the mouse like this for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> like, what's going on? I can't target face. Oh, there's a taunt minion. It came out of Animal Companion. What do I do now? Hunter's <laughs> Mark. All right, now it's done. All right, let's drag face. <laughs> let's keep pushing for damage. I'm getting this. Greetings, Traveler. I will hunt you down. And then he replies the exact same thing, 20 minutes back and forth. And then it's Flare. And one is one hundred very sad. Because I'm Mystic on Explosive Shop. And the other guy's like, well, I guess I concede to you. Oh man, a face hunter is pretty like honestly though it's really quick at the very least. Well, th there's some skill like you can't deny. Yeah, that. there is some. There's I, I will I will not deny that. All right, so we're jumping into the the game here, rogue versus rogue. By the way, I just remembered that in Pokemon there was a move execute, but with an egg. With an egg, yeah. Yeah. That's not the execute song, is it? <laughs> nope. Okay, we're back. Skype trolled us. Trolled us. Lel XD XD Lel. XD is um, X space D. No, no space, guys. No space. Yeah, don't put a space. Lel XD. Oh, I can see the game. Yeah, me too. All right, so I've seen an Irving Farseer, a Deadly Poison set up on Trump's Dagger. Dog is in a position of... Actually, he's got the coin. In this matchup, it's a huge deal. He's also found Lothab earlier than his opponent. And he has Sprint. So I don't... he only lacks prep. This is yeah. the only card he lacks. Like, he has everything. Yeah, give him a prep, and I think Dog is going to be golden here. Hmm. 
Do you deadly? Do you backstab? Fan of knives? What do you do? I think he wants to find prep or vow teacher as soon as possible. I, I think huh? that was a good good call with the blade flurry. Blade fury. King well, what I'm talking about. Fan of knives. Emperor Tarzan and Blade Fury. And Karn. Yep. And Sylvanus. Keep it right here, buddy. Millhouse Mana Storm! Nope, Mech Warper. Mech Warper, that's a huge deal! Yeah, nope. it's actually really problematic for Dog, though. It is. Like, he can't handle that 3 2. That 2 3, that is. True. Yeah, too many whelps. No. You know, Trump has the prep. Trump has the prep, but. Do you... I would say you have to play the Azure Drake. Um. Play the Azure Drake and top deck the backstab. That's a golden top deck. Yeah, but it's Although, one in how many cars at the, at this point? Like one, two, wait, which turn is that? Five. So you have drawn five cards. Five, eight. So that's one, two, twenty-two. So, uh, I mean, one to eleven. So that's not so bad. Otherwise, if you don't get the backstab, then you go crap eviscerate on the free free. Uh, that's a huge investment, but yeah, I, I guess like, it gives you the board, though. I guess there's an argument to be made for it. What about prep tinkers? Kill the free free with your attack, or even blade flurry. And you blade kill, like. Oh. Hmm. Second tinkers. Well, that's not going to be bad to end the game. It also deals with Vile Teacher starts like pretty well once the mid game hits, especially with the prep. Oh wow, Dog finds a backstab. You want an art? You want a good reason to play Blade Flurry here? There you go. Yep. Although, could you just delay that a bit longer and just play Lothab instead? You can, but because you're locking down his board completely and you're getting a five five, I think that's probably the play he's going to be taking. It's too good to pass. Uh. Lota is such, such a huge deal in this matchup. It's like, oh, that's yeah, a yeah. You, you can't you can't even sap it. Like Lothab, Doctor Boom, and Ragnaros are the biggest deals ever. Well, you can play backstab, kill the Lothab, or just backstab the free free and kill the Lothab also. But you have to sacrifice. Yeah, five health points? Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of health you're losing and giving the initiative back to the opponent. Um. Hmm. But it goes for the backs of with the spell power for the agent, which I think is okay, especially when you have the prep into Tinker's Blade Flurry, so that's that's really fine. But now, oh man, this, this is exactly flurry. what Dog wanted to hear. This blade flurry wiping yeah. the board completely. Wow. Trump has been left behind here, but he's got decent options. Actually, he's got amazing options with this, doesn't he? Does he? I mean, prep tinkers, tinkers, go face blade flurry. Doop 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 I mean that's basically the most high like the highest damage output you can get, I think. I was again trolled by Skype. Skype troll? Yep. Doop doop doop. Okay, let's do it. So he's going for the prep and the he went for the via teacher play instead, which I think is okay. I mean, he still gets a really clean board. It's and he got a 6-5, six, six which is really great. Yeah, but it's vulnerable to, I don't know, a good, another good AoE from Dog. But you can't really play around that. And he's got so many 1-1s now, he's seen a fan of knives wasted, in effect, on the... What's his name? The, the dude. The Earthling Farseer, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the really bad thing was... Would you attack into the low tip just to, like, 
save your pilot teacher? You would have been at 11, but you have such huge board presence. Well, I think, wait, what, what could Dog do here? Like, if he goes for Blood Mage, race. let's see. Yeah, what, what, like, what if he goes for Vile Teacher? Sap on the 6-5? And then starts killing away the 1-1s? And developing his own board? Not Trump? But that's lethal. Can't quite kill him, can he? Isn't that lethal? Well, no. how does he, yeah, no. he can tinker his Eviscerate Eviscerate. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's dead. Oh, now he has even combo. Yeah, he's got everything. Trump will never miss that lethal in a thousand years. Woo, that think. was close. Yeah, I think my video's messed up though. Oh, well then, we'll just skip your video and upload a pic of Mewtwo instead of your camera. Mewtwo? <laughs> yeah. Sure, that's fine. Mewtwo sounds good. Yeah, that was a close match. And I found wanna... one. Instead yeah, of and the, I, I, that's why I like Rogue vs. Rogue, like, there's a back and forth up until the very last top deck. It, it often comes down to that, like it's one card off of just finishing everything. So you probably can't see me right now, but don't picnic, chat, everything is uh, as expected. So Trump takes the series, 3-2 to two over Dog, very, very close, you know, the entire series was close, and Dog is unfortunately gonna be, not gonna be swapping rank with Trump, who's going to stay at, you know, fifth place, possibly even skyrocket to second place over Life Coach. Life Coach has uh, two games to play tomorrow, two matches, and two more on the next week. Yeah, so Trump there's still a way for him to beat this. Yep, he's going to be second place for the time being, and maybe Life Coach will be able to catch up. Um, Let's hope so. Well, haha, <laughs> I'm so biased. The bias is real. Yeah, I mean, I think Dog, because he went 4-4, four, four, is going to be going down. He's going to stay at sixth place, I think. I think being. so, because uh, RDU didn't win his match. Yeah, that would have maybe changed things. If RDU had won his match, mm -hmm. it would have equalized mm -hmm. with Dog and then forced a, uh, you know, a stalemate between both of them, seeing who goes up. Dog would have had the better tiebreaker by a slight margin, but besides that, it would have been okay. Well, yep. that's going to conclude the day for the day. Um, I just want to point out that tomorrow, and I want to make sure that, that this is clear, tomorrow will be the other day of the Kingwin Pro League. Usually, each week we have, you know, two matches. Um, I mean, two days of matches. One on Thursday, one on Tuesday. But in this specific case, we'll be moving the Thursday stream on Wednesday as a result of uh, the you know, kind of, kind of uh, schedule problems with the release of Blackrock Mountain. So we'll have five more matches tomorrow, two of which will be for Life Coach. So the day should be a bit longer than it is uh, as a result of you know Life Coach playing <laughs> very nice. slowly in general. So it that twice. could be uh, that should be a really nice, really nice day. So TSM won our it today. And... TSM did well, actually. Yeah, we had Strife Crow and Trump. <laughs> what did you just do? Did you just recruit Strife Crow into TSM? Yeah, I did. I always <laughs> did. Strife okay. Crow and Trump won. <laughs> I'm just keeping up the whole uh, the whole noxious confuses people line. All right, so I guess uh, last reminder before I go offline before we go offline. We're still looking for casters at KPL. Uh, if you want to cast for King Win, just send your VODs to King Win. Sorry to <coughs> esports oh. at kingwin.net, <laughs> and then you'll get a VOD reviewed by the the production team and possibly contacted for a cast off in their studios. In the meantime, we'll be you know back tomorrow on Wednesday for the games. Do not forget. Do not expect us on Thursday. We will not be there. It's all going to be on Wednesday. And until then, take care of yourselves. And as usual, thanks for watching, and see you later. Ta